Hello, and welcome to Hookah Unlimited. My name is Sarkis, and today we're going to be going over the semi-fluff pack. Now, last week we went over the fluff pack, and I uh, decided to continue on with the series. We're going to be going over the normal pack, the semi-dense pack, and dense pack, and all their variants, just like we did in the first video. I hope you guys continue watching, and uh, let's learn something new today. To get started, we're going to be referring to the Hookah Unlimited starter mat and the density levels chart, which allows us to figure out exactly how to achieve a semi-fluff pack, along with its variants, the light semi-fluff, which should be around here, a heavy semi-fluff, and a semi-fluff plus. Referring to the actual Hookah Unlimited pack mat, you'll be able to gauge exactly where it stands, and, and it's a little bit more specific as it's a more advanced uh, packing tool, rather than the starter mat, which is aimed at teaching you guys how to pack uh, correctly and accurately just the same way I would using mats. Today we're going to be using Trifecta Blonde which is a semi fluff plus pack. Given that it comes out to be a perfect blonde leaf with a very fine cut and this particular flavor is actually one of my favorites from Trifecta Blonde. It's a beautiful rose lavender mix and some other floral uh, aspects to it. Um, but Moving on, we're going to be using the same exact bowl as we did last week so that we could have consistency and so you guys could see exactly how we do this over and over again. Now, when if you have a different bowl, it doesn't matter because we're always going to get started at a cement pack. This is key because it allows you to determine exactly how much tobacco your bowl carries. Now, last week we determined that this particular bowl takes 31 grams at a cement pack. However, that was with Chaos Tobacco. This is Trifecta Blonde. It might weigh a little bit differently because no two brand is exactly the same. So let's get packing. Just the same way as we did last week, we're gonna go ahead and cram in as much tobacco as we possibly can. And we're gonna continue going until it's crammed chock full of tobacco. There's no room to breathe, no air gaps whatsoever. It's just fully loaded and to the brim. And once you're done with that, you have a cement pack. It looks like this. Now, once you get to a cement pack, first thing you need to do is get rid of the tobacco on the spire because it's not part of the actual volume of the bowl. Just get rid of that real quick with a toothpick. Just reach in and slide it out and put that back into the can of tobacco that you have. Then we're going to go ahead and weigh this and see the total the bowl plus the tobacco, which weighs 154 grams, which is give or take about the same as, oh, 155 grams, which is give or take about the same as chaos last week. 31 grams of tobacco, because we already know that this particular bowl weighs 124 grams. 155 minus 124 is 31 grams. So we know that the tobacco was 31 grams. Multiply that by 90%. We get 27.9 grams total. You multiply that by 62 and we're getting 17.44 grams of tobacco is what we, we're going to need and we could do like 17.5 it, you, you have a little bit of room to play here so moving on let's go ahead and dump about about a start with a third ish of the tobacco back out and weigh this out 145, 45 minus 24 is 21. It's a little bit too much still. We're gonna get rid of this a little bit more. 43 minus two, uh, almost. 141 is what we're looking for. Almost there. There we go, 141. That gives us the number that we need. And we could go ahead and uh, take what we have remainder and take it out. And we're gonna repack this bowl at a fluff state 
and when we load it all fully we're gonna get a semi fluff by definition so the process of packing a bowl is exactly the same as it's always been guys you take the tobacco and you kind of just let gently let it let it fall down kind of like how we did a fluff pack the only difference is this time we're adding a little bit more tobacco than we did uh, last week trick here is gonna be just to gently massage it into place making sure that no area is more dense or less dense uh, than any other areas once you have all the tobacco you needed loaded up you could go ahead and use a toothpick to kind of fine-tune your pack once you have that about done you could just simply clean it up real quick make sure it's exactly the height that you want it in and voila you have a proper semi-fluff pack just like last week, in order to achieve a light semi-fluff, all you would need to do is just take out a tiny bit of tobacco, right there. And if you could tell, there's a nice chunk of gap over here. And if you guys want proof how much this little bit weighs, it doesn't even register on the scale. So it's under a gram, okay? But if you see the pack itself, there's a whole chunk missing over here. So from here, we're gonna redistribute it all around. Keeping the same principles in mind, it's important to make sure that everything is even. There's no area that's less fluffy or more fluffy, less dense or more dense. And the tobacco is all the way to the rim all around. Or in case you wanna do it at a slight underpack or something, you could go ahead and uh, keep it at that height as well. But here you go guys, this would be a light semi-fluff. From here, let's put this tobacco back in place so that we revert back into a, uh, the amount that we need for our semi-fluff. From here, adding about another gram of tobacco and redistributing that exactly the same way as we did before. will get us into a heavy semi-fluff pack. It's still a little bit fluffy, but it's starting to become more and more dense. This is why this pack is called semi-fluff, guys. And finally, from here, once we add another pinch, again, on the scale, it won't, it will barely register as anything. We're gonna go ahead and add that to the bowl and make it a tiny bit fuller, a little bit heavier, so that we could achieve a proper semi-fluff plus pack and guys this is the ideal density level for trifecta blonde all right guys if you guys like what you saw and uh, like what i'm doing throw me a like otherwise visit me on facebook at hookah unlimited the facebook group chat with me on discord uh, hit me up on instagram throw a like give me the subscription guys and uh, let's continue learning and getting better at hookah don't forget guys, I'm here for you and with that, I bid you adieu and catch you later.